What does ambition mean to you? Um, problem solving. Um, yeah, problem solving. Being the one who came up with the solution, thinking all the angles through and working it out as you go. <laughs> so tell me about what your current ambition is. To solve the housing crisis but with practical common sense changes to the land use law. And specifically tell me about what you're trying to trial in Motueka. I have partnered with a landowner to create a pop-up village case study to showcase tiny living and uh, off-grid solutions to the overwhelmed public system infrastructure. Um, the idea is threefold. One, to provide much needed independent living at affordable prices. Two, to make use of this land for the landowner and bring in some income from it when it is unsuitable for regular residential development now because of sea level rise concerns. But the way I've got around that is that this is a temporary land use. So he can take income from this land for the next five years. We can have a case study of documented, measured, monitored um, and reported uh, usage of water, um, expenditure of wastewater into the system and uh, the amount of energy used, all those sort of things that we're looking to be able to solve we can monitor and measure and introduce and develop and test and trial. The only thing left for this property market to do is crash badly because 50% of the population don't have the income sufficient to meet a mortgage for a $500,000 home. The mean income, the median rather, is 50% above, 50% less, is, is in the region of 46,000 for women and 56 for men, which is another topic, but... <laughs> so we're looking at 50,000 a year, $1,000 a week is not enough, even if you partner up with somebody to be able to afford your first entry-level home. Right now, the council's response to sea level rise is that anything built on the coast right now under a certain um, land level has to be relocatable. That's, that's a given. In order to get consent you have to have a relocatable home or building. There is no definition of what that is once you put it too small and on wheels. Suddenly it's a caravan. Well it's not. I would like to see legislation put into place that classifies tiny houses as transportable dwellings. My research, what I found is people are, Kiwis are living alone for longer. We're marrying later. Used to be 22, now it's 30. We're having less children, only 1.8, not 2 or 3. We're having um, divorces after the same amount of time, which means that we're getting divorced or being widowed and being alone later in life. So whereas before you'd have your first marriage, you'd get divorced, and after 13 years, which is still the average for the length of a marriage, and then you'd remarry and have another life. People aren't remarrying. They're getting divorced later in life. They're living alone. Now, nobody has taken that into account. So you have a huge volume of people who are 50 and over coming up now, the, the end of the baby boomers, who are suddenly left without an option and having to go flatting at, you know, after raising a family and having a career, the last thing you need is to be arguing over who bought the milk, you know. <laughs> so providing independent living is the future investment opportunity for real estate. Because on the other hand, if you've already bought your house and you're finding it trouble to pay your mortgage, then you're able to take a tiny house, put it on the end of your garden, or... Have a tiny house you've never even seen that's on somebody else's pop-up village and use it as, as um, a rental income 
and we need to be able to empower the people who are homeless who should be able to choose what kind of home they uh, um, um, go into so rather than telling them here homeless person here is a very adequate small space for you to live in stuck in the middle of this place wherever that might be as opposed to allowing somebody to walk in and say hey I I need something that has wheelchair access or I need something that has a loft or I need something that's on wheels so I can drive it around to, to follow my seasonal work so empowering people with choice 